we are going to do a two foot by three foot. It's going to be my coffee table. So I got a three quarter MDF board and I gessoed it, black gessoed it and sanded it all down so it's all ready to go. Hopefully you guys can see everything. I had a heck of a time getting set up because this is almost the same size as my table and getting my light high enough, my uh, tripod high enough, but here we go. We're going to do black. I already got my paints mixed up. White. We're going to do a little bit of turquoise blue and that beautiful Rust-Oleum um, silver glitter paint. So hopefully you guys can see that. I, there's a lot of light, so you're probably not going to be able to see it very good in there. But this is Rust-Oleum glitter. Okay. And then I'm just using turquoise green from Academy Acrylics and Master's Touch Permanent Black and Artist Loft um, Flow Acrylic White. Let me find that bottle for you guys so you can see right here. So that's my white. I mixed a little bit of um, all of my colors are mixed with Floetrol, two to one, and then a little bit of the Liquitex um, gloss medium and varnish. I really like this stuff and you only need a tiny bit of this. So that's all mixed in with that. I did mix a little bit of that with the glitter paint, but really the glitter paint is just water and a little bit of the gloss, uh, Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. So I think I'm going to do it in five cups and kind of just flip them over and then kind of do some paint in between. I'm going to take these off. I'm going to put a little bit of, do I want to do a black base to kind of help this flow? I think I'm going to. Let's get my black acrylic loft artist flow in black. And I'm going to do a very thin base on here. So just so it has something to flow on. I better not mess this up because this is a lot of paint. A lot, a lot of paint. Hopefully I made enough paint. <clears throat> so get the spatula and it's okay if it's not all completely covered. I just want to make sure that it has some, some flow. So a nice, very thin layer of paint all over will be good. Doo, doo, doo. So I um, gessoed this with black gesso because I knew I wanted a black base so I used the black gesso and then I just, I did two coats of the black gesso on top and one underneath. I'm going to get some, um, they call them, I believe paper clip legs for the bottom. Cause I think I'm going to make this a coffee table. So that's the plan anyway. And I did a small eight by 10 practice piece, but I didn't put the turquoise in there and I kind of regretted it. So I was like, when I do the big one, I want to add a pop of color just so it's not black, white, gray, you know, I like to have a little bit of color. Okay. Bring this up here. All right. So now we have a base nice and smooth. And I love this little spatula. I got it off Amazon. It's like an omelet spatula. That's what you have to look up to find it. And they have a large one and a mini one. And I think I want to get the mini one too. Okay. So I think we're good. 
I'll worry about the edges later. And I will probably, um, or not probably, I'm going to top this with resin once it dries. I'll do a coat of resin. So, okay. I think we're good. Let's pop our bubbles. Where's my torch? Everything's kind of moved around. Pop any bubbles. I've never worked on a piece this big. This is the very first piece I've ever worked on this big. I think the biggest one I've done so far is a 16 by 20. So this is definitely a big one. And of course, there's stuff in my paint. Because it wouldn't be me if there wasn't stuff stuck in my paint. Okay. Should be good. Alright, let's start making up our cups. So, I'm going to start off with black in this one. Black. A little bit of white. I'm going to try to avoid getting a lot of, um, oops, I dripped on my table, a lot of mixing. I don't want a lot of gray. Let's do a little bit of this glitter. I just want a tiny bit of glitter in my cup because I'm going to put it in between the cups as like a flow extender. White, black, maybe I should turn off this light up above me. Okay, so there's one cup. I am, I'm gonna grab, hold on a second guys. I'm gonna turn off this light above me. And I'm gonna turn off this ring light that's right here so excuse my hand hopefully there's enough light you guys can still see yeah you're gonna see all kinds of stuff all right hopefully that's not too dark I'm gonna move some light okay I think you guys can still see sorry this is shaking this is why I changed tripods but the other tripod is not tall enough so I apologize for the camera moving around probably gonna turn off this fan so you guys don't see that sorry guys you can fast forward through this part <laughs> if you need to okay there I got some of the glare off Okay, so we got one cup poured. Let's do another one. This time we'll start off with the white. And I'm just pouring it down the side. White. Black. And these big blue cups, these are 16 ounce cups. And the ones that I have in my hand that I'm pouring into are 9 ounce cups. For references okay some of the turquoise just a little bit in there let's go white let's go black okay start off with black and for my little calculations it said that this would should take 32 ounces of paint so and I have more than that so turquoise some of that silver Okay. I 
think I'm going to do three cup and then all right down the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this, I'll go around this one with some black. Go around this one with some white. We'll go around the center one with some blue. Add a little bit of blue to this one. Add a little bit of blue to this one. Oh, I love this blue. It's so pretty. Okay. Then we're going to do, I think I'm going to do some of the silver in between. Kind of just around. We'll go around there, around here. Ooh, look at those cells happening there. So pretty. Okay. And yeah, I just have a tiny le bit left of that. All right, so far, so good. It's looking pretty. Pop in the bubbles. Okay. Definitely want to let these. I think I kind of want to poke a hole in the top. Let the air through so that the paint goes all the way down. I don't know if I need more than that. Get some air in there. Okay. Put that there. Get some of this paint on this corner. Put the cup over there. Oh, look at how pretty. This is going to be gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to have a workout tilting this. Let me move. This one looks like an alien. Hopefully, I'm strong enough to pick this up and tilt it. Okay, so let's go. How am I going to do this? Let's move this out of the way. Guys, I'm a tiny, tiny little person. <laughs> and this is an awfully big piece. So, let's go this way first. Let's go this way. that way. Let's go this way. Oh, this thing is not light. If you think canvas is heavy, try three quarter inch MDF. It is heavy. I probably should have done more paint. More paint, more paint, more paint, more paint. Okay, let's go 
we'll go this way. There we go. Hopefully this is still all in view. The question is, how am I going to get the paint back? Okay. This will come off anyways. I just want to get as much on there as possible. I should have done more paint. So more than the 32 ounces. Oh, this looks good. You like it? Yeah, so far. So far. Oh, oh your aching back. Okay. There's that, and we have a little bit more of the silver, just a tiny bit. Okay. Oops, I'm spilling. Thank God I put it down on the floor. Okay, there's that. Let's get this flowing again. You can hold that side if you want. Bye. Love you guys. Have fun. This is no easy task. Alright, baby. Love you. Be careful. But love you. Be careful. Alright. Yeah, I should have pulled this table out so that I could get around it on the other side because I need to go that way and I actually I need to go this way too so let's go this way first it's kind of hard to go that way uh oh something fell Something fell. I'm going to help it along here on this side. Let's see if 
bit of help. Get the paint moving where I want it to go. Okay, let's get this this way. Let's get it moving that way. No. Don't slide. Slide that back. Okay. We're going to have to bring this. this paint starts moving a little bit more. I might have to put some more black and some more white even though it's not the same consistency but it will I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oops shoot. All right this is all gonna pretty much fall off. I just need it to help flow off. Okay, now that'll help the paint slide off this side. Okay. So a little bit in this corner. A little bit over here. We just want that to flow right off. And some up here. And like right in here. Because we still have to get it off this side, guys. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of a process. Try this again. All right. Go this way. And then we're going to go this way. How do I pick you up? How do I pick you up? I should have done this on the ground. And then I could have done it easier. I always wondered why everybody was doing it on the ground instead of up on a big table where they could reach it, but now I understand why. please. I'm going to have my daughter come help me real quick. I kind of actually like that. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Ooh, I'm stepping in paint. Stepping in paint. I kind of like how this didn't come all the way to the edge. Kind of looks cool. Uh, change your clothes because you might get paint on you. Change your clothes. All right, let's go that way. Is it? Uh-oh. My charger's over there. It's getting paint on it.
move my charger. Move my charger because I, oh crud. Sorry, that was probably really loud, but I have one of those four prong charger things and the paint was dripping into it. <laughs> Not good. Okay, paper towel. Wipe my hands off. Kind of hard to hold this. Okay, let's go that way a little bit more. Will you put on some gloves and then you can work one side and I'll work another? What's happening again? Huh? What, what are we doing? I'll need you to grab those two sides on the corners, like underneath. <laughs> so it's going to be a two woman job because uh, I just can't maneuver it by myself not up on a table okay. okay so we're gonna lean this way lift your back end up a little bit there we go just gonna get that to flow lift more towards me lift your side up 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 okay set it down just need this little bit right here to, yeah. to go. And this little bit. Okay, one more time. Okay. Okay. Why are you doing such a big canvas? I'm making a coffee table. All right. Now, the fun part, we're going to go back this way. So, up and that way. There we go. Sorry, you guys can't see this, but we got to get this paint moving down onto this side. So as much as we can stretch this paint out, we're going to. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Looks computamous. Getting to the corner. Okay, lift your that corner up towards me and tilt it down. Yeah. I'm trying to get this corner covered. It's heavy. I know. Almost there. Almost there. We're there. Okay. Now, we're going to lift it up and just go back that way so the paint moves back in the center and it's not all on one side. So we just want the paint to move back to center. So all the weight isn't in one spot. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'm just going to go around and make sure the edges are covered. Actually, 
how do the edges over here look beautiful but the end edges so I'm going to lift it from this side I think I think I'm good now baby Perfect. thank you I just got to get the to lift this that way see if I can get the paint to move that way I actually don't think I'm gonna be able to do that I don't think I have enough paint left for that so I'm just gonna get some paint off the table sides that didn't get covered because I don't think I'm going to be able to get this over it. getting them off the edges over here but the paint's going so I'll just get some paint off the table and make sure all the sides are covered you could do this with your finger you could do this with a palette knife or a popsicle stick doesn't matter or if you wanted to, you could even go around and do it with a solid color, which I have a, I have a squeeze bottle of black and I think I'm going to do that on this side. Just kind of put it up on here and let it bring that paint down. bringing it down. Okay. All right. Ooh, that's so pretty. What do you guys think? Make sure to leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. I'm going to torch this now and see what we get, what we can come up with. Oh, it's so pretty. That silver glitter in there is gorgeous. We got some cells. We got some rings we got all kinds of stuff out of this i'm going to take these off let's torch it see what we can get to come up i was trying to do minimal turquoise and it just seems like that really came out This looks like a galaxy right here. So beautiful. I got some gray. Let's see how this develops over time. you're torching it any clumps or anything funky make sure you get that stuff out Ooh, I like that look at the black coming up through the turquoise the black cells Let's see if I can get any turquoise to come through here Alright guys, oh, this thing is turned. 
a little bit sorry I am going to take you guys out of here and it's not going to let me turn you guys around so I'm going to hold on for dear life and show you guys kind of a close up if you guys can see I'm stepping in paint so this is the finished product look at that oh I love that see how all these lines are there's some glitter in there hopefully you guys can see lift you up a little bit these beautiful cells right there these beautiful blue cells in the center so that is that if you guys enjoyed this make sure you click like leave me a comment down below I'll take some pictures they'll be at the end of this video and then when I do the resin on this I'll probably make a video of that for you guys as well so hope you guys all enjoyed make sure you hit subscribe click the bell notification to get notified of any future videos that I make and thanks for watching.